Well, good morning. It's a uh, looks like it's going to be a beautiful day out here on Lake Talquin today. And uh, today I'm going to do something a little different and fish a completely different end of the lake. Um, I've done most of my fishing down on the south end of the lake, so today we're going to get up here and look around on the north end. And I'm going to start uh, by going back in this major creek arm, and uh, we're going to look around and see if we can figure out where these crappie are. I'm going to start at the mouth of the creek and I'm going to follow the creek channel all the way in with my side scan see if I see anything uh, and if I don't see anything there we're going to work our way out onto the flats and closer to the shore and just see if we can locate some so hang with me uh, it's a beautiful I believe it's a beautiful Tuesday morning uh, I'm not sure what the day the date is I'll have to check that for you but uh, it's the Tuesday after my last video so uh We'll get out here today and hopefully uh, we won't have the wind problem today and we'll be able to look around and we'll see what we can find. Well guys, we're in the mouth of this creek and we're just going to follow it in and see what kind of life we see. And as you can see, I'm already headed down this creek channel here and you can see there's already all kinds of fish on the screen here. I suspect that's probably mostly white bass and stripers in this major creek arm because they'll be spawning in the rivers, either just now spawning or getting ready to come out. But we're going to make our way all the way up this creek channel, and we're just going to see what kind of life we see and where we see it. And once we get done with that, we're going to go to the areas where we saw the most life, and we're going to see if we can find out what kind of fish they are. And you can see all the fish. There's fish all in this creek channel right here. But we're right at the mouth of this creek and we're going to go ahead and we're going to just follow this creek channel. We're going to follow it all the way back into this cove and see what we see in here. If we don't find anything along the creek channel, then we'll make our way out on the flats and see if we find fish out on the flats and we'll just slowly make, make our way shallower and shallower. And, we locate some fish or decide uh, they're not here and we have to go look somewhere else so uh, hang with me I'll turn the camera back on when I after I've searched a little bit of this and uh, we'll let you know what uh, what we've seen guys we're still following this creek channel along you can see there's there's quite a few fish on the screen here there's a lot of shad in here in this bend you see them on the down scan here so there's a little bit of life right here we're gonna we're gonna keep going though we're just gonna make note some mental notes as to where we see the most life and uh, we're just gonna follow this keep following this back and see what it all looks like and then we'll make a game plan on the spots I want to come back and target and look for these crappie and see if we can find some so we'll keep making our way all the way to the back of this creek just kind of get a feel for where the most life is in this creek and see what we find hey right, guys so i came all the way to the back of this creek and really didn't see anything i was looking for i haven't seen many fish since i left the first half of the mouth of the creek so i'm going to make my way back out and where we were seeing more fish and i'm going to take a look there and uh maybe put the live scope down and uh, see what kind of fish are hanging around up there where all those shad were and then if uh, that doesn't work, we're going to try some new areas and see if we can locate these fish up here. Alright, so we came back out to the first third of the cove where I saw so much life. And uh, I'm going to look around with the live scope. I put it down. There's a lot of shad in here. So I'm going to look for some crappie, maybe make a couple casts for bass. And uh, we're going to keep looking and see if we can find them. Right there. 
Good way to start the day. Catch a little bass or two. I figured with all these shad, they'd probably be some bass right here. Let's see if we can do that again. about the boat angle guys winds blowing different direction than where I'm casting Pretty little bass. I think there'll be quite a few of them up there. We'll catch a few of them. See, guys, all we did was we just made our way to the back of a creek and then made our way back out and looked to see where all the shad were. And when we found where all the shad were, just makes sense there'd be some predator fish here and sure enough there's some bass here I don't know if y'all saw that or not. That was about a five pounder. Threw my bait. Finally guys, I did a lot of looking finally got way out here on the creek channel and started just going down the creek channel up on the north end of the lake and found a school of them on a stump. They don't look like real big crappie but uh, about right size. I might eat a few of these this weekend. big monsters like I was catching on the south end of the lake but eating size guys I'm gonna get used to catching those great big giant crappie I better measure one of these I think they're about 11 inches long but let's measure one just to be sure well apparently I am spoiled because that's 12 inch crappie thought they were smaller than that Here. 
Better copy there. Swap colors. Immediately caught a nice one. They look like they've already spawned up here. Alright guys. I think we trained these. Let's go look for some more. And guys, we're gonna make a little circle here and I'll go back by that stump I was catching those fish on. Probably can't see them anymore, but we're gonna go by it one time anyway, just to see if we can see any more left on the screen. The next ones I find, we'll, if I find some more, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll try to show them a little better. All right, guys. That's what they were in right there, if you can see it. There's a whole bunch of little stick-ups right there. That, I've pretty much scattered them now so you don't see any fish, but we're gonna look around through here and see if we can locate a few more and we'll show them before we start uh, trying to catch them. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see that or not. You can see all those little black dots right there? That might be a couple crappies sitting on that stump, but we're gonna check it out and see. monster crappie but it is crappie I've noticed that the size seems to be a little smaller up here on the north end of the lake I don't know yeah, let's turn him back There we go. Nice crappie there, guys. For this upper end of the lake, not bad. All right, guys. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that, but there's a school of some kind of fish right there. I can't tell if it's crappie. It may not be crappie, but we're gonna we're gonna take you up to the bow and we're gonna take the live scope. And we're gonna ease up on that and see if we can see what that is. Hold on with me while I put a battery in this thing. There's some fish right there on the bottom. Yeah, there's the tree, guys. You see there's a... Looks like there's some fish hanging around right here on the bottom. Oh, a little small fish. It does not look like big crappie. Let's go 
Coming right through him. Here comes one from the back. Oh, we got it. There he is, guys. Another 10 inch crappie, just barely keeper size. Let's do that again. That's fun. There goes my jig. There's a fish looking at it. Oh, he got it. No, I missed him. Well, I'm coming chasing it. Oh, he ate it. I got him. There he is. <laughs> So far, all these fish have been identical, about 10 inches, 10, 10 and a half inches long. There goes my jig. Here comes the fish. Oh, he hit it. Got him. There he is. Oh, that one feels heavier. Oh, yeah. That was, that was a keep eating size there. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but that is a that is a mohawk crappie. <laughs> Making this difficult to film. Can't keep the jig in the picture. There it goes. Fish coming after it. Oh, we got it. Oh, that might be a better one there. Fighting better. Oh yeah, a nice copy there. There's a bigger one. Alright guys, that's a that's a 12 inch, 11 and a half, 12 inch fish there. He's going home for dinner. I don't know if you can see him or not. No reflection. better that's been about the average size of the ones on the school it's probably 10 inches so I don't think we're gonna keep him though we're gonna let him go Well, I'm gonna wrap this up guys it was a pretty nice day on the water out here today the wind did get up and blow a lot harder than the weatherman said of course which made it a little tough but uh, as you saw I looked in the creek this morning and uh, I didn't see any fish I didn't see anything that made me want to look around in there so I came back out on the lake and got in about 10 foot of water and just looked and looked and looked and looked and I found four or five schools of crappie today uh, mostly in about 10 foot of water and uh, caught all I wanted I probably caught 20 or 30 fish today at least and uh, kept about 10 to eat so uh, all in all it was a good day fish were biting a lot better uh, the fish up here on the northern end of the lake are a little smaller than the ones I catch down on the south end uh, I guess that's uh, due to the shallower water but there was a lot of a lot of small fish up here but all in all it was a great day hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you on the water the next time have a good one